Hi there. Now for this question, we're told that there are 180 students at a college following a general course in computing. Students on this course can choose to take up to three extra options. And they're listed here. 112 take system support, 70 take developing software, 81 take networking, 35 take developing software and system support, 28 take networking and developing software, 40 take system support and networking, and 4 take all three extra options. And then the first part of this question, we've just got to draw a Venn diagram to represent this information for five marks. So if you'd like to pause the video at this stage and give this a go, when you come back, I'll run through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So for this one then, all we need to do is for part A to set up a rectangle or some kind of border surrounding our sets. And we've got three sets here that we need to talk about. So what we'll do is we'll have, say, shapes like this, just overlapping. Okay, that should do us. We need to name them. Let's have this one first of all for system support. I'll denote that with SS. And then developing software, we'll have DS. And then we've also got another one on networking. So we'll call that N. And when you get questions like this, good idea just to start generally at the bottom here. It says four, take all three extra options. So that's going to be in the middle here. So I'll put a four there. And then working back up, 40 take system support and networking. So when we've got 40 take systems support and networking, that means that there's 40 across these two regions. So don't make the mistake of putting 40 in here because that would be just 40 doing systems support and networking only. So we've got in this one 40 across these two regions. So that's going to give us 36 there. And then working back again, we've got 28 take networking and developing software. So there's going to be 28 then across these two regions. So that leaves us with 24 in here. We've got this region here, which comes from the 35 taking developing software and systems support. So if we've got four in the middle here, that leaves us with 31 up there. And then we've got... 81 now, take networking. So that's going to be all of this has got to add up to 81. So for that, if we add 36, 4 and 24, that comes to 64. So 81, take away 64, leaves us with 17. Similarly, we've got 70 taking developing software. So if we add up the 31, 4 and 24, that comes to a total of 59. And if I take that away from 70, 70 minus 59 gives us 11. 11 people then just developing software only, but in total 70 developing software. Now we've got 112 take system support. So if we add up the 36, 4 and 31 we end up with a total of 71. 71 from 112 gives us 41. So 41 go in there. Now take care here because it doesn't just necessarily finish with all these numbers in these regions. We've got to look at what might be on the outside here. We had in total 180 students, so always check out by adding all these numbers up and check to see if we end up with 180. If not, we've got to make it up to 180. Well, if you add up 41, 36, 17, 31, 4, 24 and 11, you find you get 
164. So there are some students then that don't take up any of these particular courses. There'll be 180 take away 164 and that gives us 16. So there's our Venn diagram and I hope you're able to get those values in there. If not, I hope you've been able to see how I've done it anyway. Okay, well now it goes on to say that a student from the course is chosen at random and we've got to find the probability that this student takes for part B none of the three extra options for one mark. And then in part C we've got to work out the probability that they do networking only for one mark. So again, you might like to pause the video at this stage, have a go at these two and uh, when you come back I'll give you the work solutions. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Well, for part B, okay, what have we got to do? Find the probability then that none of the students take the three extra options. So if I just put an intro here, probability that none, okay, do these three extra options, none of the three, then what's it going to be? Well, it's going to be 16 out of the 180 students. 16 out of 180 and you should reduce this down you could divide it down top and bottom by 4 and if you do that you get 4 out of 45 4 45ths then is that probability now for C the probability that they do networking only so again we'll have an intro for that the probability I'll just put N only now for networking only, it's this, 17 students do networking only, 17 out of 180 students. So that's just going to be then 17 out of 180. And that doesn't reduce down anymore. Now for the next part, part D, let's just read through this bit. Students who want to become technicians take system support and networking. Given that a randomly chosen student wants to become a technician, find the probability that this student takes all three extra options for two marks. So again, you might like to have a go at this if you haven't done so already. Just pause the video and when you come back, we'll work through that solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Now for part D, Let's just put down what we're being asked. We're told that the students who become technicians take system support and networking. Okay, So given that a, that a randomly chosen student wants to become a technician, we know that they must do system support and networking. So we're given then that they do system support and networking. OK, we'll put and then there. This line here, remember, represents given. And we've got to work out the probability that this student takes all three options. So we'll just put in here all three. Now to work this out, we know that we're given that they do system support and networking. So if they do system support and networking, we're looking at these 36 students and these four students, they do system support and networking. A total of 40 students. Now out of those 40 students, how many do all three? Just the four. So it's going to be four out of 40. Okay. And that reduces down. You can cancel top and bottom by four and it's going to reduce down to one tenth. 